A Coon Rapids 10-year-old is on a long road to recovery after a horrible bike accident earlier this month. And her family did not find out until much later. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard is live where it happened in Coon Rapids. And Corin, she arrived at the hospital as a Jane Doe? That's right, Karen in BC. She was unknown to police and paramedics after a crash here in this intersection. And that's part of the reason her family was in a panic for hours. To know Kira Rose is to know a creative and caring 10-year-old gymnast with a big yeah, grin. <laughs> She's always smiling, always laughing. She has this smile that's just contagious. Mm, mm, mm. Next one. But her dance moves and her smile are on hold for now. Look at that. Kira's in a wheelchair or a hospital bed since June 4th. Her family says the Adams Elementary School fourth grader was playing with friends who loaned her a bike with no brakes. So she couldn't stop when she rode down this hill right into a busy intersection where a car hit her. The driver called 911, but her mom says the other kids didn't want to tell anyone for fear of getting in trouble. So it was hours before she tracked Kira down at Hennepin County Medical Center. She was basically on the bed on the ventilator, like all on a bunch of tubes. That first day was a lot of breaking down and uh, crying shaking. Kira suffered two broken legs, a broken pelvis, some brain damage, and other injuries. Doctors worried she might never walk or talk again. But as her family kept vigil, she started showing signs of progress. I think she's got a lot of courage and strength and you know when they ask her, if she's, she always gives a thumbs up. She's very positive about it. Kira's still in intensive care and she has a long journey ahead. She'll be hospitalized a while longer and in a neck brace for months. But her mom expects to see a bionic gymnast emerge from her traumatic experience. I think she's going to come out, I just feel like it's, she's going to come out even stronger in the end. And police are still investigating this incident and what led up to the collision. But today they tell me they have no new information to release. Kira's family has started a GoFundMe page to help with hospital expenses. You'll have a link to that on our website at fox9.com. Live in Coon Rapids, Corn Hoggard. Fox 9.